Hello, everybody. Thank you for um, joining our zoning meeting today, uh, Wednesday. Um, we uh, are going to start our, uh, our meeting review. I want to have Walter read our bylaws uh, first, and then we'll go from there. Go ahead, okay. Walter. All right, it is 6 a.m. Do you want me to go all the way through and just read the bylaws? Just the bylaw. Just the this meeting is being held pursuant to the open meeting law, which requires this meeting to be held in public with uh, obviously doors open. We tape record these proceedings, therefore, please speak loudly and clearly. Also, when you come to the podium to testify, please state your full name, address at the beginning. We'll call each case by address, wherein everyone who just presents testimony would respect to the petition. We hear testimony from the petitioner, then we'll hear testimony from anyone present who would like to speak in favor of the petition. Then we will hear from anyone present who would like to speak in opposition to the petition. We will then allow the petitioner a maximum 10 minutes for rebuttal or supply additional information. We will consider any written material submitted in support of the application. That may include letters, communication from the planning department, and position of planner. We also then will close the meeting. Uh, next week we'll hold our meeting for vote. So the jurisdiction is limited. In order for the board to grant variance, we must specifically find that. One, Sorry, to uh, circumstances related to soil, condition, on, um, shape, or topography I'm of the land or structures, and especially affecting general the zoning district in which it is located, and literally enforcement, literal enforcement of the provisions of the ordinance will involve substantial hardship, financial, otherwise, to the petitioner. Two, the desirable relief may be granted without substantial detriment to the public good. Three, granting such relief would not nullify nor subsequently derogate from the intent or purpose of such ordinance but by law. Please keep these three requirements in mind as you make your presentation. Thank you, Walter, for uh, doing that piece for us. Appreciate that. Um, so, Vanessa, what's the first um, uh, case that we have in front of us today? Hi. So, our one and only case today is 190 Surrey Road. Okay, so once I could we have the petitioner say their name uh, out clearly um, and uh, address us uh, the concerns that they have. And first of all, I want could they lift their hand up? So I'm the petitioner for the right. variance. Yes. So you can you lift your keep your hand up? Can you do you promise to say everything the truth and nothing but the truth? Um, hear you so? Yes, I do. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Okay, um, I'm Molly Fogarty, I'm the library director, um, and we received a notice that we were in violation um, with our so digital sign that's outside the East Forest Park branch on 190 Surrey Road. Um, so we're requesting a variance. Um, the library, uh, this East Forest Park Library is a brand new library. Uh, it was built, it's about a $10 million library that was built with state city and private funding. It opened on December 19th, 2019, and then unfortunately closed on March 16th, 2020. Uh, we then reopened the branches because of COVID. Uh, we opened the branches on July 6th of 2021. We were closed for 15 months for limited hours, then went to full hours on September 7th of 2021. And then we, um, Reduced hours again in January because of the surge. To the health department requested that, and then we've reopened full hours, which is 30 hours a week, and we're open one evening a week. So um, we feel that it's really important to be able to use our digital sign. Um, the the area that we're talking about, um, if I know we submitted all our materials, is a, a small portion of the actual sign. It's only. Um, uh, about 14 inches, 14 and a half inches in height, and the full length of the sign, which is about 90 inches. Um, it basically is used to let people know that we're open. Uh, it publicizes our programs. And we have consistently, when uh, there has been an issue, um, if it's uh, been disturbing anyone, uh, if it was on during evening hours after it got dark, um, that we uh, set up, have it on a timer and make sure that it's not open. Uh, the sign isn't working when we're um, it's dark out. So um, again, we've only been open for a few months um, and we the public is really confused. We really want to make sure they know we're open. We want them to know our hours. And if we have a special program that day, a children's story hour or author speaking 
or there's a meeting, you know, the East Forest Park Civic Association uses the building. It's a really good way to let people know as they're, um, when they're coming to the library or they're walking by or driving by. And it's a very, as I said, the, the, the height of the sign is only 14 and a half inches long. And we are certainly have always, um, you know, been uh, responsive to requests from anyone, uh, any abutting neighbors. And um, if there were any errors that it did come up when we were closed, uh, we certainly uh, corrected that. And as soon as we received notice uh, that we we're in violation, um, then we immediately shut it off. Um, but it's also important to say that when the library um, received the occupancy uh, permit, uh, that sign was up and um, there was no issue at that time that we were aware of. So um, it wasn't put in after occupancy uh, permit was given. And I know, Myron, if you have anything to add, <laughs> Myron Hatcher was the. Uh, oh, okay, wait, uh, okay, excuse manager. me. Let's uh before we start, um, Molly, thank you. Um, so my, is that um you want to? Are you done with the uh your your speech, Molly? Are we yes. done with? The, yes. Okay. So um, Myron, um, uh, you're on, I guess, right? Can you lift your, lift your hand up? You promise to tell the truth, but nothing but the truth. Yes, I do. Oh, thank you. So um, go ahead and, you know, I think you're speaking in favor, though, I guess is a favor. Yes, I'm, of I'm speaking in favor of the petition. Um, again, my name is Myron Hatchett. Um, I was the project manager for the construction of the library. Um, I worked for the city for the Department of Capital Asset Construction. Uh, we were responsible for the construction of the library. Again, um, as Molly stated, we did um, submit for a building permit. Um, which was granted. Uh, we did the construction. We received the inspections and approvals at the time and ultimately received the certificate of occupancy from um, inspectional services. So we thought we had done everything properly and correctly. Um, and in the meantime, as, as Molly previously stated, that on the library did receive a notice that they were a violation and they immediately turned the sign off. Um, we think that the sign is a benefit to the community. Um, the regulations that were cited says that a uh, sign of this nature can only be a maximum of 24 square feet. This sign is only 8.7 square feet, so it's much smaller than the regulation even allows. Um, the library has also stated that they're willing to um, regulate the hours of operation of the sign to only be activated when the, when the library is open or occupied. Um, and again, we think it's a great benefit to the neighborhood and hopefully this um, petition may be granted. Thank you. All right. Okay, more. Anybody else in favor of the petition? Anybody else in favor of the petition? Anybody else in favor of the petition? Okay, so let's move on to the next step. Anybody on disagreeing with the petition? Anybody on not agreeing with the petition? Chairman, I, I, Walter Gould, I think we should just mention we did receive a letter and complaint. From yeah, I was, I was going to, I was going to get to, I was going to get to, if there's nobody, I was going to get to that part, Walter. Okay. Um, if Thank you don't you. mind, we'll, we'll review that. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. So uh, final, final last time, anybody on, not in favor of the petition? Okay, so um, we're going to go in discussion. Um, uh, I have my colleagues um, want to have any questions to the petitioner. Uh, or or anybody else, please go ahead and, and address it. Uh, Eddie, Eddie Corbin, can you hear me? Yes, we could, Eddie. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I would just like to say that I know that we've been challenged with a number of signs uh, over the past year of uh, similar situations to this. Um, and we, we got through all of those okay with conditions put on, on those places that for signs. Um, and the library appears to me, well, let me step back a little bit. First of all, the uh, library association headed by Molly uh, has been doing a terrific and outstanding job over the, over the years that I've known them. I've worked with them personally and my run. Uh, and I think that uh, what, what she says is absolutely. I think we lost, we lost your, Eddie, we lost your, your voice. You're muted, Eddie. You're muted, Eddie. You muted, you're muted again. Eddie? Eddie? 
lost him, my friend. We lost him. But, we lost him completely? Yeah, we did. All right. Anybody else? Have, I mean, well, Eddie tries to get in. Anybody else want to chime okay, in? I'm, I'm back. Uh, I'm back here. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. okay. There you go. Yes, we could, Eddie. Okay. Thank you. What I, want, what I wanted to say is that uh, uh, I looked at the sign and everything like that in that area, and I looked at the, you know, the library, and I know the association very well. Uh, and I, I think that, you know, Molly and them deserve a lot of credit uh, over there. And I, and, I, and I saw the letter that came in from the petitioner, uh, the abutter there, and, and uh, he did not say he wasn't against it. He just, he, he stated that he thought the library and the sign was a good, good idea. It's just that one of the hours, uh, I guess, in the evening would be a problem for him. Um, and I think, I think this is a, a very good, good endeavor project. It's, it's, and the sign does, the sign does give uh, credit to what the library is, is doing because it's hard to know for a public place like this, all the events and things that are taking place unless you have some way of knowing uh, passing by on the outside a lot of the times because uh, it's just so much that the library, library that the libraries do. Uh, and this definitely would keep people abreast of what they're doing over in that area over there. So I wanted to, I wanted to state that uh, with a good, credible group of people headed by Molly. Mm -hmm. oh, Thank you, Eddie. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yep, go ahead. Who is it? Who's George speaking? Booth. Hey, George Booth, go ahead. Uh, thank you. I, I agree with Eddie, but the other side, I think the only thing the argument is, the butter they're saying is the, the sign is just too bright in the evening. I'm saying I think the sign is good. I, I rode by it. Uh, but being residential, uh, can we talk about having a time for the sign to be cut off say at five o'clock? I mean, if you, unless you're driving very, people ride down Sherry Road goes 30 miles an hour. And so the sign is going, so you might get part of the sign, but when you won't get the whole sign. So what is it good that the sign goes on all night? I mean, give me a reason that it should. If we talk about leaving the sign as is, which we are, but let's talk about timetable. Then I think that's important. You talk about very residential area, which is very important for people to live and to live comfortable. And that's why they brought their home. And uh, the argument is, hey, I, I love to have a good neighbor, but the same token, I don't want my neighbor to destroy me or my living. And so if the light is, 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 is a, a hindrance to me in my environment, then I have to speak on it. That's all I'm saying. So I think if we can come to an agreement with the uh, library association to say at a certain time, we turn the lights off until the next morning. That's, that's, that's how I feel. Thank you, George. That's, I, it's, take, it's greatly, greatly appreciated your comments. I understand that too as well. Anybody else wants to speak on the petition? Mr. Chairman, Walter Gould. Um, hey, Walter. I don't know if Ms. Fogarty's had a chance to look at the planning department's recommendations, but one of the recommendations they had said uh, was having to sign on the times that the libraries open and mm -hmm. have it go off when they close. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, obviously on Sunday, I believe the library's closed all day. The sign right. won't be on at all. Um, prior to receiving this letter from one of the neighbors that complained about the sign, uh, I agree with Eddie. I don't think he's complaining about the sign. It's just about the... No, he's not. The hours, the, lighting. the hours that's on. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just going to let, you know, I'll I, be honest with you, I was going along with what the planning department recommended, that we have it on from 10 o'clock right. in the morning till the latest would be on is 8 o'clock at night, which I think is the one night you're open late, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, the other night you close it, is it 5? Yes. So it would be on basically every night till, every night till 5, except for, is it Thursday you're open till 8? Uh, we're open Wednesday evenings till eight, and Saturday Wednesday we evening. close at three. Yeah. Okay, so the only day it would be open, the only day it would be on late would be Wednesday. Correct. Um, just to make that comment that uh, what the planning department had recommended, I, I can understand what the neighbor's saying, and I can understand. I don't know if you've seen the neighbor's letter, Ms. Forgetty, but the neighbor complained that he was told that uh, when he complained about it, he was told to shut his blinds or shut his shades, which I think kind of offended him. Um, it probably would offend me too, uh, if that's what was said. I mean, we don't know what exactly was said, but um, I kind of agree with the planning department in this station. I usually do leave with the neighborhood, but I, I can see having it on till no later than eight o'clock on Wednesday night, and the rest of the nights it's off at five, and on Saturday it's three o'clock. Correct? Yes, correct. Okay. Hmm. 
this recommendation. Thank you, Walter. Um, anybody else has uh, any comments? No, Mr. Chairman, just Ryan has just reaffirming exactly what Walter just said. I think it's reasonable to allow the uh, Library Association to operate the sign during their normal hours of operation. Um, and they seem to be in lockstep with this uh, zoning board's opinion uh, that they will be happy to turn it off to the benefit of the neighborhood uh, while they're not in operation. Okay. Okay. So we, we all agree somewhat on what, what, uh, what the, the recommendations are. Molly, could I ask you a question though? Um, I do hear a lot of good things about your 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 library. Uh, I was born and raised here, so I know a lot about the library. So um, I have my library card still. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So so um, is there a way, Molly, you could reach out to that one neighbor? It's only one neighbor, and he really's not complaining against the library. He's sure. more about the lighting. Can you reach out sure. to him and, and and maybe work with him as well and say, sure. listen, I'm sorry. And, sure. you know, and, and, and at that point, I think you'll make the piece and, and it, it really, it was just that recommendation sure. or that one letter from that recommendation, but that one letter from one person and it wasn't a bad letter. So um, yeah. I said, if you can forward that contact information to me, that would be, I would be happy to reach out. And I certainly apologize if anyone said uh, something as um, offensive as what. Yeah, yeah. I, it was in your group though, Molly. It wasn't you. It was oh, somebody okay. else. So you guys oh, are okay. okay. Yes, I, I no, would be no. very. Yeah, I, no, I it wasn't you guys. From us. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't from you guys. So, no, but yeah, just happy to be out. Out. Yeah, if you okay, could send me you. Inf the information, I'd be happy. Vanessa, you don't mind sending that to to Molly? All right. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Very good. Thanks, I'll Michael. Yeah. All right, and then and so um we we can't vote today, uh, Molly. We'll vote next week. Um, and we'll reconvene at, at that point and we'll go from there. Okay, Molly. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your thank time. You. Thank There's you. nothing else. Walter, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, Walter. Yeah. Just one more thing, Molly. If you could just mention how we're considering looking at the hours that you're open or mention to him that, you know, the hours that you're open and the only yeah. day it would be on late would be Wednesday. Correct. Correct. That way Correct. he's aware that, you know, Wednesday night would be on a little later. The rest mm -hmm. of the week you're looking at five o'clock or three o'clock. I mean, you know, so I think that might kind of surface everything in the street and everything else. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. All right. All right. So um any motion to take any motion to adjourn the meeting today? I make that motion. I second. Anybody motion. second? Okay, so second roll motion. call. Thank you, Walter. Roll call. Vanessa. Vanessa, roll call. I need me to do it today, all right? Norman uh, yeah. Rosan? Yes. Walter Gould? Yes. George Bruce? Yes. Ryan Hess? Yes. Eddie Corbin? Yes. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay, hey, thank, you. thank you all. Thank you. Have a good day. Good night. Thank you. 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 Thank